in the very first podcast, Stuart said that there were some stories about me outing myself, and I think it's time that I come out of the Freddy closet. Mm. Part six was when I was able to drive. I had a little bit of freedom and a lot of Freddy fandom. I mentioned how I was driving my stick shift with the Freddy glove. That was around this time. And it was the very last showing on a Thursday night, and I decided to catch it in theaters one more time, and I kind of heard, I guess, of people costuming to go see a movie. I picked up a Freddy outfit, it was thankfully nearing Halloween, and I'd get a bag, I'd throw the mask and everything in, and i go into the theater, and of course I'm the only person in the whole theater. So I wait for the movie to start, and then I pull out the Freddy glove and mask and hat and put it all on, start watching the movie. <laughs> About five minutes into the movie, in come four people. <laughs> they take the first seats, but slowly they realize as their eyes adjust to the light that I'm wearing a hat. Can you imagine, like, you go in to watch Nightmare on Elm Street and there's only one person in there and it's Freddy Krueger? Like, <laughs> oh my god. And I don't know who was more embarrassed at this point. They, like, were, I think, a little scared of me, and perhaps huh? rightfully so, because one of them actually sprinted down the aisle just to check to make sure, yes, indeed, that is a Freddy mask, and then ran back as fast as he could. So, yes, that is my big reveal. <laughs> of Freddy fandom is I costumed alone seeing this movie in theaters for the third time. And that's another great moment from Now Playing History. If you want to hear the whole show, head over to our website, nowplayingpodcast.com. And hit the subscribe button just below this video so you never miss another Now Playing snippet. And hit that notification so you're always alerted when there's a new snippet. Thanks for watching. <laughs>